this is Llama Juice, and welcome to part two of this Halo Custom Edition tutorial. Uh, this tutorial, or this step, we're actually going to be uh, modeling the uh, actual level. So you're gonna want to get back into 3ds Max, and you will see everything we just did before. Um, what I'm going to do is basically just outline what I'm going to be modeling in this step with vertices. Um, if you hit F3, it'll switch it to wireframe mode. I find it easier to uh, work in wireframe mode, and my computer likes to die otherwise, so wireframe mode comes in handy. Um, but I'm basically just going to outline everything that I'm going to model in 3ds Max here with vertices so that I actually can model it rather easily that way and it'll save a lot of polygons um, I'm going to have to eventually delete this polygon right here and recreate it, um, but right now that doesn't really matter. I'm going to want to copy that, hold shift, and uh, click. That's what I've been doing with these vertices. If you hold shift and click one of these uh, little legs, it'll duplicate it for you so that you can uh, make them in a nice even way rather than having to guess with the create modifier or create button. Um, I don't like how wide that'll be, so. Alright, uh, right now you probably don't understand this, but uh, here we go, you'll understand it really soon. You're going to want to uncheck delete isolated vertices. On yours it's probably checked right now. Um, that's so the outlining vertices of that polygon I just deleted are still there so that you can use those again to recreate it. But this time I'm going to include the ones I just made along the outside there. And then I'm going to make another polygon that'll be the tunnel leading the base. shift click that go down here and paste in that this line of vertices will be the middle of the level see uh, my plan is to just model this part of this BSP and mirror it different ways so that I only have to model one-fourth of it and it'll all look the same for what it needs to be since it's all going to be pretty much the same anyways. Oops. Um, so I'm going to want to create those vertices there. And uh, as you can see this will be like the floor of the base and then leading out to the tunnel area there. Um, if I click an edge, hold shift, and drag outward like that, it'll create a new plane, and uh, basically it'll, it'll extrude that edge so that you can, it's just an easy way of doing it. Um, and so here I'm about right there on this drawing and so if I do that again with this part I can drag it all the way down to there and it just makes everything really easy to model um, basically just draw out this path 
is what I'm going to be doing. And I have to rotate it here since it's such a sharp angle. And then right here you can see it doesn't really look like it makes much sense, but or if or I'm just gonna do it because ninety. There we go. Um that didn't end up like how I wanted. Okay, I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm going to click a vertice, drag it, drag that on here. I'm going to want to have it the same Y value as that one so that it's a straight line. So that it'll all eventually be even. And then I'm just going to recreate, recreate this face there. Um, then basically just click. And I'm going to stop it right there so that I can basically break the uh, flatness going on here. Make that go up a little bit. Okay, I got a new plan. Um, I'm going to put a ladder in right here eventually. So I'm going to have this go straight up and then have it come over. And you see, like, here's the inside of the base. I want it so that you can come up here and then you'll be able to jump down inside the base and attack come in through the front door or on the other side as well they'll be the same setup um, again I know this doesn't really look like it makes much sense but that's how it goes right now I'm gonna check you know just make sure how see if it's wide enough and I think that's that's okay doesn't bother me um, okay I'm going to create the walls around all these and so oops I got click this object and so to do that I'm going to click everything that will have a wall every edge and basically pull it up pull it up far enough to make it look like a a wall. You'll understand here in a second. Alright, if I hold shift and oop, missed that one. Alright, if I hold shift and drag these up, you can see that it creates a wall right there. And I'm gonna get it about that high so that it's equal to this floor so that it'll be easy to create a little area to jump down inside there 